I'm TJ, host of Serving's Kitchen with a Cause. This month's show features two guests who represent an organization called Up by the Bootstraps. One of those guests, Margaret McCarley, was and had been battling cancer. Between the time of filming this episode and its air date, Margaret passed away. The other guest on the show is Margaret's mother. I had a conversation with her after Margaret's death, and she decided that we should go ahead and air this episode because it's what Margaret would have wanted. The organization they represent, Up By The Bootstraps, was important to her, and this show could help inform the public about its value. We would like to dedicate this episode to Margaret Kim McCarley, a leader and a light in our community. Welcome to Serving's Kitchen with a Cause. My guests today are with Up by the Bootstraps. So introduce yourselves. Oh, my name is Gwendolyn Parker. Uh, I'm the founder of Up by the Bootstraps. And I'm her daughter, Margaret McCarley, and I'm treasurer and secretary. So you An wear, executive director. And, oh, she wears yeah. all the hats. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're going to talk about their nonprofit today, but we also cook, right? So we got to find out what we're cooking today. You guys have no idea, right? I have no, no, idea, no idea, but I'm dying to know. Yes. She already asked me what we're cooking, and I said, I can't tell you until we get <laughs> on camera. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove our beach towel of deception, as we call it, <laughs> and show you the ingredients. And then you guys are going to see if you can guess okay. what we're cooking. All right. And this is a hard one today. It is? It's kind of hard, yeah. Okay. So don't, don't feel bad if you don't get it right. Okay, so we have... Spinach, spring mix, some broccoli. This is quinoa. Oh, flour. Um, Extra virgin olive oil she loves. I have no idea. Spice <laughs> beet. Okay. She's the chef in our family, so maybe she'll guess. Some celery, some lemon. What is this? Kiwi? No, or no, avocado. No, no. Avocado. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know. So I'm thinking avocado dressing or avocados going in the salad. Oh, and is it cabbage? This is cabbage. Yes. And some beets, right? Yeah. Is that beets right there? I am think it sounds like it's going to be a, um, a salad. Yes. So okay. you got the salad part right. Oh, that's only yeah. part of it. We, we're going to have two different recipes. One is a salad. And um, I know we have some uh, allergies and some strong dislikes of food. <laughs> and you are a pescatarian, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. Yes. So we're going vegetarian. Great. And we're doing brain food. Because we're talking okay. about SAT prep today, right? Okay. Superfoods. We've got superfoods, we got brain food. So what we're doing, we're doing the salad, <clears throat> which is, you know, typically healthy. We're gonna make our own dressing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we're also going to make something called soca. Never which heard is of it. never heard of it. It's based on the garbanzo bean flour. Okay. So we make a pancake out of that. It's a savory pancake. Okay. Oh, okay. And they're sort of thin. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is use them almost like tortillas. Okay. Oh, okay. And we can fill them with whatever we want. Okay. And today we're, we're going to be making, uh, we've got, well, I've already prepared uh, some tomato. We've got uh, black beans, hummus, mm. uh, just all sorts of things wow. that we're going to have to choose from as our toppings. So this is kind of a meal that you can make. Uh, with your kids or with your family. If there are things you do like, don't like, you can choose what you want to put inside of this pancake. That's right, so it's you something for everybody. Exactly. Likes. So pick and choose. It's a smorgasbord of different flavors and it's all brain food. Today on Serving's Kitchen with a Cause, we're gonna reset and we'll be right back. Our first recipe we're going to be cooking today is the soca, which is the garbanzo bean flour pancake. All right, mm. so we're going to get our ingredients ready. There's really only th three main ingredients and then some water. Okay. You've got your flour, you've got some salt, olive oil, 
and turmeric. Okay. Turmeric is a, a common ingredient in uh, places where they have garbanzo bean. They use them a lot, hummus, that type mm -hmm. of thing. She uses it all the time. All the time. She well, even puts it in it. my smoothies. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. All right. Along with some beet powder. So yeah, some of that, some of that superfood. You got to have the superfood. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you guys will measure out about a cup and three quarters of our flour, it's going to go in the bowl. I'll let you do that. I'm going to put you to work. This is a cup. Yep. Okay. That's our cup. Yeah. Uh, and you said a cup and a cup and about three quarters. We'll probably use just a little bit more than that. So you can just use the cup to measure it out. Mm. Getting, making a mess. That's fine. You know, when you're using flour, I, I was doing this. Uh, I was what was I baking the other day? I had, but I was using flour, and uh, I think I was making banana bread, oh. and I had it all okay. over me. I was okay. like, oh, this is why they wear the aprons. So is this would this be three quarters? Right? That's probably a half. This is a half. Yeah, we'll just do this. Yeah, just thing. measure it in the cup. Yeah. We can we can kind of eyeball just don't it. Don't fill it up. And yeah. you can go a little higher than a, a three quarters. Yeah, because the That's other one was probably perfect. Yeah, that's, that's probably good. perfect. So then you put a little more in. Yeah. Even though he said it was perfect. We can perfect. make it work. <laughs> if we need to add more so water, we'll add more water. All right. All right. So and then we're gonna add just a little bit of salt. And that is a little bit. That is a little bit. Just a tiny bit. And then if you <laughs> want to add a half a teaspoon of turmeric, I'll okay. grab a half teaspoon. Let's see, that is a half teaspoon. Uh, you muscled up. <laughs> Heaping or level? Level probably. No, it's level. I'm just trying to get it. Alright. Gotta be right. surgical with it. There. Yes. All right, so I'm going to mix that up just a little mm -hmm. bit before we put the water in. It just gives it a little flavor, too. Yeah. So if you want to add the water and then start whisking it up, I'm going to start heating the pan that we're going to cook of this it on. Water? Yes, all the water will go in. It's a little bit thinner batter than a regular pancake, which makes it have more the consistency of a crepe. Mm. And where did you get this flour? This was actually just at Publix. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's somewhat common. Kabanza bean flour. Because mm -hmm. I love kabanza beans, I love hummus. Yes. And I like them in salads too, so I would love this. This would be a great recipe. And it's a good alternative to using just a regular tortilla. Mm-hmm. Fresh. Yep. All right, so we're supposed to leave this for about five minutes so it can absorb the liquid. Okay. Um, and while we're waiting, why don't we talk about you guys? Okay. Tell me about your organization, kind of the history and how it all came about. Condensed well, version. Condensed version. <laughs> um, I met a couple of people who were having trouble with their scholarships. Mm -hmm. They, they had trouble getting people to apply for them. Mm -hmm. And so I said, wow, students are not applying for scholarships. That's free money. Free money, yeah. And then I met a young man who was doing uh, SAT prep courses, and he was offering for a reasonable amount of money, and he couldn't get any students to come to uh, take the courses. Mm -hmm. So... I am a proponent of education. I love it. My daughter loves it. And it just seemed like there's a niche here. Mm -hmm. There's a need, and we should do something about it. Right. So Up by the Bootstraps is um, an organization that was formed to provide affordable SAT prep classes to Douglas County students mm -hmm. so that they could get over the fear of taking the test, right. um, increase their scores, mm -hmm. and um, be ready for whatever test they would have to take in later life mm -hmm. at an affordable cost. Right. 
Yeah, and you're no. saying you're saying that like with Kaplan and some of these other places, they're they're pretty expensive. Yeah, they can range from five hundred dollars to twenty nine hundred dollars, wow. depending on what the parent, um, how much tutoring the parent wants the student to have. Right. But ours is two hundred dollars, and it's for nine hours over three Saturdays, with a highly educated. Uh, professional SAT prep teacher. That's great. Who's who's certified in Kukuman, who is a um, a teacher, uh, a math teacher, and he's um, taught chemistry. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's well qualified. That's great. Mm -hmm. And the students love him. Mm -hmm. Well, that works well for uh, the kids who can't afford to do that. You right. know, they can't afford to pay. Two thousand dollars to to get ready for the SAT, and it seems like if you take the SAT, you're probably more likely to keep going, go to college, go to tech right. school, something like right. that. Taking the SAT while you're in high school, there's no fear of failing. Mm -hmm. um, you're still in high school. Mm -hmm. If you don't pass the test, there's no pass or fail. You right. just want to see how you do. Right. But you're still in high school. You're mm -hmm. still going to be taking the same. So you do it. Mm -hmm. It's it's the perfect time to do it. It's just like anything you do as long as you have a safety net. Well, right. the school is your safety net. Mm -hmm. You're still there. You're still learning. Mm -hmm. But it prepares you to take any test that you will have to take in life. Mm -hmm. Because every time you want to advance, there's a test. There's a certification. Right. There's something that you have to do to prove to someone else that you're the right person for that yeah. uh, other, promotion or job. And the other thing with the, taking the SAT is it opens up doors for scholarships, for mm -hmm. additional scholarships. Mm -hmm. I was talking with a parent last month, um, in April actually, and she was trying to um, get her daughter the Zell Miller um, scholarship mm -hmm. and the SAT score had to be 1200 right. and her daughter kept scoring 1100 mm -hmm. so she just you know she took it two or three times mm -hmm. so when she heard about our program she was really excited because she was hoping if she could get those tips and those tricks and um, some assistance in increasing that score then she would be eligible for that scholarship mm -hmm. and that's one of the other reasons why we want so many kids to take it mm -hmm. because it opens up more doors for scholarships. Every scholarship doesn't have a SAT score requirement, mm -hmm. but there's a lot that do. Right. And if they're not even taking the SAT, they're not even eligible. Right. And our kids across the country are leaving scholarship money on the table mm -hmm. everywhere, billions of dollars in scholarships. Well, we want our kids to have some of that money. Yeah. So we're hoping that if they'll take the SAT prep, Mm -hmm. they'll get a higher score and then be able to apply for even more scholarships. Right. One of the things that I found out that I did not know was that a lot of employers, you go for a job at a corporation, they want your SAT score. Mm -hmm. If you didn't take it, it's, it's like a, a mark against you right. before you even get in the door to show them what you can do and mm -hmm. who you are. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have it in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, just have it. Doesn't matter what it was, you took the initiative to take it right. is one of the things that they're looking for. Right. You don't want that empty box right. on, the, on the resume. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're going to get more into uh, what people can do if they want to help you or if they think they qualify or want to get involved with the actual training. And we're, we'll talk about that when we're cooking our second recipe, which is a salad. Right now, we're gonna finish up our, our garbanzo, garbanzo bean flour pancakes. So we'll give it I one. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> it's looking good. Stir one last stir just to get everything incorporated. And I am going to use a quarter of a cup uh, measuring cup here and I'm just going to put one right there in the middle so what we'll do is we're going to cook our pancakes about 
two or three minutes on the side, flip it over, and uh, we'll get all these done. And when we come back, we're gonna start our salad. Okay. okay. We'll do our dressing from scratch. So we'll have our salad ready with a nice dressing, and we'll have our fake tortillas ready so that we can make our, uh, <laughs> our nice brain food tacos. Okay, right. now we have a name. <laughs> <laughs> brain food tacos. We're back, we've got our uh, pancakes made. We've got a little stack of pancakes there waiting for us once we get the salad ready. But before we start the salad, um, there might be some people out there who have heard what you said about your organization. Um, and either they think, I've got some money I wanna put towards this, or they may have a student that might benefit from this. How do they get in touch with you guys? Okay, so they can email, um, and you can just shoot me an email, text, or call me, and I can direct you to our website. Uh, I can give you information as far as how to register for upcoming classes and how you can be a potential sponsor. And you guys are trying to fill these classes as much as you can, right? So Yeah, we offer three classes a year. Mm -hmm. So we offer in preparation for the... October SAT test, the November SAT test, and the May SAT test. Uh -huh. So our upcoming class is gonna be held September 14th, 21st, and 28th in preparation for the October 5th SAT test. Okay. And then our, our website, um, we will list all of the other classes as well. Okay, so you can go to the website, check it out, see how you can get involved, donate money, uh, get your student involved, or if you know someone who you think could benefit from this, maybe an upcoming senior or even an upcoming junior. Yeah, I mean, we start I've heard a junior with sophomores. Start taking the SAT. Yeah, so we start with the gym. sophomores as well, so they can start practicing. Okay, so get involved, get this SAT prep. It is probably the cheapest you're going to find, and uh, it will get you prepared to take the SAT, which is a test that you probably need to take, even if you're not planning on going to college, because it's, it looks great on a resume, and who knows, you may change your mind. You may say, well, I did pretty good on the SAT. Why don't I just go to college? And an SAT can help you with internships. It can help you to um, secure um, a certification because you already taken a hard test mm -hmm. so uh, the fear of getting certified in something should be a breeze after right. SAT so it's a good ste stepping stone to bigger things mm -hmm. all right so you know how to get in touch now what we're gonna do is get this salad ready <laughs> um, now the salad is going to consist of uh, sort of a pick and choose just like the uh, the pancake toppings are going to be uh, we've got baby spinach, we've got a spring mix of greens, broccoli, celery, beets, avocado, and then the dressing that we're going to make. And we're not going to all put it all in one bowl. A good way to do a, a salad when you're doing something a little more uh, non-traditional is to put all your ingredients in different bowls mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. let people choose what they want to have on top. Yes. So like what we're going to do is make the dressing. And I will tell you guys what to put in. We'll put it in this mason jar. That way we can shake it up and we can store it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we're gonna start with two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And the grapeseed oil is in one of the green containers. Yep, that's the one. Okay. So we'll do two tablespoons of that. We're gonna follow it up with two tablespoons of the extra virgin oil. Okay. Oh, don't ask me why. <laughs> you can also use uh, flax oil for this, some of your more non-traditional oils. What about sunflower? Absolutely. I just got some of that, that's why yeah. I asked. Yeah. So with a dressing, you've... With a, two. Okay. This is an oil and vinegar dressing, so you get to choose an oil or a couple oils, and you also get to choose the vinegar. 
part of our acid or vinegar that we're going to be using is lemon juice. So what we need to do is slice the lemon and I'll grab a, stick, a cutting board. And we're gonna do about the same amount of lemon juice as we did for the oils. So I will squeeze this in there, trying not to get any seeds in. And about a half a lemon is, is plenty. There we go. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar. The vinegar is a little bit stronger than the oil, so you're using less vinegar. I can't open that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just, you said how much? One? One, one yeah. tablespoon. Okay. We're also gonna do a tablespoon of honey. Okay. So now we're gonna add a little bit of sweet to cut into the vinegar. Mm -hmm. And then in the container right there, uh, the little tin is some salt. Okay. Yes, and we'll just do a pinch of salt. And pass it back to me. Honey. Okay, pinch of salt. Just a pinch of salt. And then we've got some ground mustard there. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of ground mustard. It's a quarter, one and a half. The mustard is a, an emulsifier. And what that means is it's gonna help to put together the oil and vinegar. Because oil and vinegar, you know, they don't really mix together. Okay. So we'll throw the top on. Good to know. And who wants to mix it? <laughs> Shake and bake. And that's it. So this is just a little guideline for making uh, your own dressing. Shake it some. And that's about, that's enough for a, a, a <laughs> nice size salad. Okay. So we, and let me do it too. Yeah, we all had a we turn. All had, yeah. <laughs> we all made the dressing. <laughs> Teamwork. So you can add your own oil, your own vinegar, and then an emulsifier like uh, dried powdered mustard. You can actually use just Dijon mustard out of the container. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can add lemon juice, lime juice, any kind of citrus you want, mm -hmm. uh, and change it up. Add some spices. You can throw some uh, paprika in there. You can throw some cayenne pepper. I asked, I, I need to ask the question because yes. you used grape and uh, extra virgin olive oil. Why, why the two different, because one is lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, why the two different ones? The grape seed oil uh, is a little bit lighter. It's um, just kind of balances out the uh, the little bit stronger flavor of the extra virgin olive oil. Oh, good to know. And you can like there, you don't want to use um, heavy uh, saturated fat oils mm -hmm. in in a dressing. Mm -hmm. So right. this is more of an unsaturated side. The more mm -hmm. healthier oils. Okay. Right. So you can just look those up online and substitute any of the healthy oils mm -hmm. for either one of these, okay. or you can add all of them. Okay. You just use the same amounts, total amounts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same cool. amounts. Yes. So when we come back, we've got our dressing ready. We've got our ingredients ready. We've got our pancakes ready. We're going to have a buffet out here, and we're going to choose exactly what we want to eat, this brain food. <laughs> we'll be right back. We're all set. We've got our buffet out here, all of our ingredients ready. This is our salad stuff. And then over there, that's our pancake stuff, our toppings and the pancakes. So what we can do is you ladies can come over here, grab a bowl and start making your salad. I'll grab my plate and come over here and start making my pancake and then we can kind of swap. And here's our dressing. Okay. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Yep. Doesn't I did take mine much. already. You did yours? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you want to taste first? Um, I think I want to taste this first. Okay. <laughs> we'll go into the pancake. Yeah. Now go you can eat this down. with a knife and a fork, or you can just pick it up like a little soft shell taco. 
Well, I just want to pick it up. And it is messy, just like a regular taco. I'm a fan. Mm. It's great for vegetarians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very it messy. It is messy. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's tasty. Very good. Great uh, substitute for a tortilla. Very good substitute. Yeah. And I did the, the, I've got the garbanzo beans, you know, in the pancake. I also put some hummus on there, which is, you know, garbanzo beans. So I got double layer. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try the salad. Mix it up a little bit, get that dressing coated. Apple cider's a little strong. Not for me. You like it? Mm-hmm. So you I can vary it. I think it could probably have some more lemon. Yeah, a little bit of lemon. Maybe a little more, maybe some uh, pepper too. But overall, I think we had a successful meal. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna enjoy this, but before we dig in, let's give them the website again. And I can do that. It's uh, up by the bootstraps ga.org. Right. And then the phone number again. 404-402-8149. Awesome. And the email is ubtbootstraps at gmail.com. Got it. So check it out. Check them out. Get involved. You need SAT prep. This is the place to go. If you want somewhere to put your money to fund this, this is where you can go. We so. love donations and sponsorships. Yes. That's how they run. I mean, that's how nonprofits really run. I'd like to invite all the parents to just think about it's affordable, it's for your child's future, and just think how you would love to enjoy your family room. They're not living there because they took the <laughs> SAT and they moved on and they're doing well and they're not gonna come back home and stay on your couch. There you go, the first step to getting them out of the house. Yeah. SAT, gotta yeah. get them into college, tech school, or get them a career. And TJ, thank you so much for having us Absolutely. on your show today. Absolutely. We really appreciate it, and for you helping us, you know, get the word out about our organization, and um, just for everything that you do in the community as well. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for being on the show. Thank, thank, thank you, you for, for helping being me cook. A good cook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. All right, so we're gonna chow down, but we'll see you next month on Servings Kitchen with the Cause. <laughs>